Muy bien, señoras y señores, directamente Ladies and gentlemen, we are right back. And we have a great fight in store for the rest of the evening. Here we have Ravi Bruno from Brazil. He is 31 years old. He's right-handed. He's had 70 fights, and he deserves to be here in the blue corner in this final. Y en esta esquina de color rojo, directamente de Santiago de Chile, 25 años. And from años. Chile, we have a great fighter who we just saw fight. He is fighting from the Brutal Striker Club. His coach is Ivan Galaz, is 25 years old, right-handed, 29 fights from Chile. Victor Valenzuela, another great fighter, and he definitely deserves to be in this final he put on a great show in this last last matchup these two guys are going to put on a great show in this super middleweight this super middleweight division and this is going to be absolutely amazing and they're starting off now cautious there goes a good front leg kick from victor Ravi just getting out of the way. Oh, and there goes a good leg kick from Victor. And oh, and another good leg kick. He blocked the kick, held on to it a little bit, almost sweeping De Ravi. Wow, he is very strong. Victor Valenzuela. Remember, these guys have already had a fight this evening. So they are tired. They're, but they've look they're so energized these guys are great look at the technique coming out of these guys fast hard strong absolutely amazing after fighting three rounds already you see a very calm victor ravi calm as well oh and there goes a good leg kick from Victor Valenzuela knocking Ravi Bruno to the ground. You could hear his coach telling him to kick that knee, kick the knee, and boom, there he goes. Dropping Ravi to the ground. Both of these guys very fast. It's, it's amazing how strong they are after having fought already this evening. Ravi being a little bit more cautious. And Victor actually being a little bit more open than he was in the last fight. With an easy win. Fighters not showing a lot of technique. Oh, and a spinning hook kick. Catching Ravi on the right side of his face. Not all that hard, but he did catch him. And then Victor follows up with a good left and a good knee. Victor saying, it didn't hurt me. Throwing a couple of wild spinning back fists. It didn't hurt me, but it looked a little different from my angle. Oh, and a good left from Victor. Into the clinch they go. Five second rule. Referee Orlando breaking them up. Good left and a right. Good combination from Ravi. Oh, and there goes that spinning hook kick again from Victor. A little bit off the mark. Quite a bit off the mark, actually. And slow, and he was easily knocked off balance and pushed to the ground. Be right back, folks, with the second round of this three-round super middleweight fight, 78.1 kilograms.
And we're back, folks, with the second round of this super middleweight fight. Both of these guys, great athletes, absolutely. They are big guys, they are fast, they're working hard. And we start, Ravi starts off with a left hook and easily evaded by Victor Valenzuela. And Victor's throwing a front, front kick way off the mark. And there goes a good leg kick from Ravi. But no, oh, and there goes Victor throwing that spinning hook kick again, missing way over the top of his head. Too slow, and there goes a good sweep by Ravi Bruno, knocking Victor to the ground. One of the dangers of throwing those nice kicks, but you gotta throw them fast with your balance intact. If not, you're gonna get knocked over. And that's exactly what happened to Victor Valenzuela right there. And now Ravi trying to, trying to tie up Victor. Ravi definitely coming back with a different attitude in this fight. Oh, and there goes a low back kick from Victor. Too slow. I don't know if it's because he's tired or what, but I would, if I were him, avoid using those spinning back kicks at all for the rest of this fight. There goes a good front leg roundhouse kick. And into the clinch again, referee Orlando breaking them up one more time. Oh, and there goes a spinning back fist from Ravi. And there he goes throwing, grabbing Victor around the neck, almost a chokehold and throwing him to the ground, a reverse chokehold almost. Referee let it go, spinning back fist from Ravi, moving in close, but oh, and there he goes. Ravi's trying to turn this into a fight. And he almost knocking Victor Venezuela out of the ring. And there goes Ravi to the ground this time. Good front kick from Ravi Bruno. Victor looking a little bit tired now. Oh, and there goes a good leg kick from Ravi. And it was blocked and grabbed by Victor, which is not allowed. Oh, and a good leg kick from Ravi. Oh, and there goes a low blow. I'm not sure how often. The last fight he had three low blows. And he's in this again. Let's see if we can see that on the, on the image if he really did get hit. There he goes with a slow spinning back kick again. Way off the mark. Where is he going with that? Why do these guys do that? at this late, this time in the game. Ravi taking advantage of that. Oh, and a good leg kick inside from Ravi Bruno. Victor looking tired now, looking much more so than he did in the last fight, even though he had won that fight earlier in an early round. And now Ravi moving in close, tying him up as soon as he moves in. Ooh, and there goes the end of the first round. Or the... Great, great fight, you guys. These guys are doing a great job. Absolutely. They're tired. But don't forget, guys, these guys have already had a fight tonight. They've already fought three rounds. We're going into six rounds for these guys. They are tired. They've given it all in their first fight to get into the final of the semifinals. And they are still putting on a great show. Be right back, guys, with the next round. Showing a lot of respect. There was a good left jab by Victor. Round three of three rounds. Oh, and there they go outside the ring again. Turning into an MMA match. Vali Tudu. Back into the ring. They show a lot of respect for each other, but they really want to take each other out, looks like. There goes a right hand wild from Ravi Bruno. Victor, both of these guys getting in close, trying to use their knees. Referee breaking them up in from the clinch. Oh, 
And there goes that left hand from Rabi trying to move in, use the knee with his right knee. Not able to find the right timing as of yet. Oh, and there goes an axe kick from Victor. You can see that axe kick. If it hits, it hit him on the leg and knocked him down. If it hits you on the collarbone or on the top of the head, you're going to feel it. It's just, it's a kick that needs to be used once in a while, not all the time. And that's exactly what he's been doing. And he uses it. That's the second time in this, in not this fight, but he used it once in the first fight and once in this fight. And there goes that right hand from Victor moving in closer. Now he's tying up, he's putting his glove in Ravi's face. Referee breaks him up, doesn't say anything about it. And there they are in the clinch again. 123 left in this fight. Both of these guys are tired now. Technique is not as crisp, not as sharp, but still very dangerous. Ravi leaving himself open there, saying, come on, let's go. Referee breaking them up from the clinch one more time. There they go, using their knees again. Those knees, you know, they don't look like they hurt. They, look, they don't look like they've gotten in, but they hurt. And even just if it's a 20% of what's been executed gets in, it hurts like heck. There goes a great spinning back fist from Victor Venezuela. He gave Ravi a bad face when he threw that horrible looking kick. He said, what kind of kick was that? I have to agree with him a little bit on that one. And there goes boys to the ground again. Both of these guys want to win this fight really, really badly. And here they go. Oh, and there goes a good right hook, almost right hook overhand from Victor. Catching Ravi on the left side of his head, and there goes the bell to end the third round of this three round final of the two semifinal winners of the super middleweight division in the 78.1 kilogram division. Señoras y señores, el título del Challenger GP ante estos dos campeones presentes aquí en la WGP. El vencedor por decisión unánime. The unanimous decision is the result. Victor Valenzuela from Chile, the hometown boy, brings it home. Fuerte ese aplauso para el gran Victor Valenzuela y nuestra grandiosa campeona mundial también, Crespita Rodríguez, le entrega su título. Levántelo, por favor. Es suyo. Disfrute. El Challenger GP se queda en casa, en Santiago de Chile. Y se lo lleva, se lo ganó, Don Víctor Valenzuela. Más fuerte ese aplauso para Víctor.